I want to install a light fixture in the ceiling somewhere around there. And for that, I need to run an extra one of these wires from this switch box up through the wall into the attic and over there. The problem is how to fish that through. And to make that happen, I've attached this baler twine to the end of my Romex wire. And on the end of this baler twine is a bunch of nails taped together and a straw that allows me to put that in there and have it poking up from the electrical box a little bit. And then the plan is to catch these nails with a magnet which is attached to another wire they're going to drop from the ceiling. And once those touch then I can pull the baler twine through. And once I have the baler twine up in the attic I can pull hard on it to get the Romex through. Now I have to drill a new hole from the attic up here right above the switch so I can drop the wire and then pull the Romex through. But uh, how do I know the location of that? And the answer to that is more magnets again. So I've got a stack of rare earth magnets just attached to another piece of metal here and the compass and if I'm near that the compass is always pointing at those magnets. So now with those magnets popped up against the ceiling right above the electrical box that'll tell me from the attic where I need to drill and of course I need to drill over a little bit but it'll be plenty evident once I'm in the attic where the wall actually is just not how far over I need to be this way. Baler twine with the nails on the end and the straw goes in the hole in here. Let me just jam that in there. So now that sticks up above the electrical box so my magnet will pick up the nails and not stick to the electrical box. It's taking some digging around this insulation here. I started there, tapped on the ceiling with guidance from Rachel. She told me I was off a little bit. And I finally found the spot. Here's the wires coming up from where the switches are. And I've got my uh, little compass here. And that very much points at uh, right about here. So I know that is definitely right about where I need to go down. So I need to drill an extra hole here. Well, things aren't going to plan. So these are the wires coming up from the electrical box. And I want to get into it from this side. So I actually started drilling a hole right about here um, but I hit a nail and if I go over any further I'm going to start hitting the stud but conveniently the builders of this house left an extra hole right here which I've been trying to fish through. The problem is that's on the wrong end of the electrical box which means I need to go back downstairs and stick my nails up out of the other end of the electrical box. So unfortunately that means another long traverse of this attic. Oh, terrible. I took all the switches out of the electrical box so I could get in the other side of it to poke my string and straw up on that side. Okay, Rachel's been helping me on the iPad and with her guidance I got the string. Now I can pull this until it's taut and she can start feeding the wire in. Are you feeding the wire in? Oh, okay, that's why it's so easy. Okay. <laughs> and now pulling, here's the straw I put on there to put my thing on there. And there is my Romex wire. Yay! Now I'm going to pull most of that wire up and take me to where I want to put the uh, box. Just leaving a pigtail in the electrical box so that the scrap is going to be all one piece. So here's the downstairs view, Rachel's holding the camera and I pull on here and you can see it's snaking through. So cool to have an assistant. And I don't want to pull all of it through. Okay, can you straighten that please? Just unroll it. Thank you. Okay, and that's about as much wire as I want to leave down there, so I'm good with that. Thank you! After that, I ran the wire to approximately where the light needed to go, but I didn't film that part. With a lot of tapping on the thing and Rachel guiding me, I've been able to kind of narrow it down roughly, and now using this compass, that's pointing at right here. She's got the uh, stick with the magnets right about here, right on a piece of strapping, so I'll have to move over a little bit. I'll put the... Uh, Octangle box right about here. Now I've got a bunch of pilot holes drilled 
where the electrical box is going to go and I screwed this block on here which I will screw the octagonal blocks onto from below and here's all the excess wire ready for pulling through the big hole once I make it. Here's my pilot holes I drilled from above. This would have been way easier from below but the problem is I couldn't locate where the joists are because my stud finder will pick up the strapping but the joists are too far away so it won't pick those up and I need to be right next to a joist so I had to start from above. Fits perfectly. Now I need to get my wire down. Now I've tape shut all the extra little screw holes in this box to kind of help with the uh, vapor barrier type ceiling. And now it just goes up in here. I'm using a little bit of caulking to seal that box against the ceiling because I'm not confident I'll be able to seal it very well above being right up against the joist. Back in the attic again, I was planning on putting some vapor barrier and tuck tape around this box, but realistically I'm not going to get very much of a seal with the joists and the strapping and all that right up against it. So I just uh, smeared some more caulking around the edges and with all the holes in this box taped up, I'll just use the box as my vapor barrier seal. Now I just gotta spread the insulation around again and I'm done. And now I got the new light fixture installed. I actually took the one from back there and put it here and put the new one there because that one's smaller. And now with those lights we've got some shining down on the piano so we don't need this light anymore that the kids kept messing with. And now I just moved that light to this couch where Rachel likes to read stories to the kids and she wanted a light for that couch. And I was originally going to put another fixture up here, but then I realized that wasn't quite optimal and one thing led to another. And it makes me wonder, why can't I just buy Christmas presents like normal people?